What's going on guys, FaZe Jasper here. Today we have a very special video because today we are gonna go over Face K. That's insane, bro. We're gonna go over the shoulders and arms workout that I put together for him. So uh, please follow along into the gym. If you guys wanna try out this workout, it will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, enjoy the video. All right, we are in the gym right now. We are gonna go over the exercise that I put Face K through. If you didn't know, I am uh, the personal trainer for all of Face Clan pretty much, so I make sure all the guys stay in shape. If they need any help with workouts or diets or anything like that, they can always come to me and I can help them and put them on some workout routine. So we're gonna go over uh, Face K's shoulder and arms workout right now. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. So the first exercise that I decided to put him on on a shoulder workout is the probably one of the most important exercises for shoulders is a kind of a press. Now today we are doing a military press with the barbell. Um, it's a great, great compound exercise. And the compound exercises are the most important exercise for every muscle group. Uh, these are the exercises that you get the most results from. And uh, yeah, so I always recommend when you're trying to gain muscle and trying to gain size to focus on your compound movements as the military press, bench press, squat, deadlift, stuff like that. So military press, by the way, all the sets and reps all in the description. It's very important that you do it safely. Technique is the most important thing when it comes to any exercise, any workout, technique and safety is number one priority. Now, I have the bar a little bit wider than shoulder uh, width, as you can see the grip here. I put it, um, I get it down to um, my upper chest here and I lean back a little bit because you want to push the weight in a straight line upwards. So that's when you get the best, most efficient way because if you press forward, obviously the weight will go forward, which makes it very, very hard and um, a lot heavier and you're gonna implement a lot more other muscle groups that you might not wanna implement in this exercise. So um, I lean back and then when I press up, as you can see here, right here, I push my head forward. So I get the most contraction on the press. So uh, yeah, very important that you try to push the weight up where it's in one straight line as much as possible. Now, uh, my standing, my feet are um, very firmly on the ground. I squeeze my abs, keep my abs tight, and so it's the most safe and efficient way. I'm the strongest like that, so that's why I do that. Now, um, yeah, for this, again, sets and reps will be in the description, but this is a great, great exercise to start up this workout with. The second exercise is a little bit of a harder one, could be a little bit tough for you. Uh, it's a single arm press. It's a very great exercise. I love it because it implements some core, implements some balance, and I just love this exercise to do for shoulders. Now, again, use a weight that you can handle. It's very, very important. Now, I do not go lower than the dumbbell touching my shoulder. This is low enough, it's fine. And you wanna press all the way up, obviously. Now, you see my arm touching um, my serratus right there, just under my chest. Uh, this is so I can really feel the serratus and I can squeeze it. It helps me remember that I have to squeeze my abs. So that's why I do that not to flex my arm or anything, you know? So yeah, great exercise, love to do it. Um, and yeah, we're doing three exercises for shoulders. This is the last one, this is a combination exercise. This is a side race to front race. I like to call it side race to front race combination uh, and, and also front race to side race. So as you can see here, front to side and then side to front. Now, it's very, very important to do this exercise with a weight that's kind of low. I think I'm doing this with seven kilos. Uh, this is more, of a burner exercise than anything else. This is not where you're gonna get the most strength or the most muscle gains. This is to burn off your muscle, make sure it's sore the next day, make sure you get the amount of volume in that you wanna get in. And uh, these are the finisher exercises, I would like to call them. So uh, yeah, side raise and front raises, great exercise. The side raise, obviously, it's important to get those nice broad, rounded shoulders, but I don't want to get into much do too much detail, but technique wise, as you can see, I have a slight bend in my arm. Um, and when I go upwards, this, the bend does not change. I do not bend my arms like this, anything like that. You want to keep that stable. And then also when you do the side raise, you want to get, end up, you see my, my wrist, my elbow and my shoulder are all in one level. You actually want to get your elbow a little bit higher than that if you twist your arm a little bit outward so you get your pinkies to the ceiling uh, is a little bit better. So I have to correct myself on that right now. But uh, other than that, you don't wanna go over shoulder level when you do this exercise. It's not really 
uh, anything to that that really benefits you if you want to get the most out of that exercise. Front raise is pretty much the same thing. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to move the weight with your wrist or anything. You want to do it all shoulders and your elbows will help with that. Now, great finish, as I said, very, very important. Now we go on to tricep. Actually, we do have a little bit of a close up. Gee, I look so white, holy Christ. Can you just not? I need a tan, my God. I look, <laughs> I hate my life. But yeah, great exercise, I love this one. Always people ask me how I get the bolder shoulders, the white look. Side raises, man, just to burn them off like crazy. But this is so crazy bright, it looks stupid. Also my face. Anyway, so tricep, uh, we're doing two tricep, two, two bicep. First for tricep is another compound exercise is the close grip bench press. Uh, I either do a dip or a close grip bench as my first one because these, again, are the exercises you get more most benefit from. Um, grip wise, you can see here, it's a little bit more narrow than the bench press. The bench press, I'll have my arms just a tad more wide. You don't want to go too narrow. You don't want to do this. Uh, you want to have shoulder width. That's pretty much the best way to go about it. If you have trouble remembering, shoulder width is the best. Now, I figured out recently this exercise because I hated, I used to hate this exercise so much because I just couldn't figure it out. I was going like this. Like I was going, at the same as the bench press, right? You go to the nipple, and I was doing it with the close grip bench as well. It does not work. It hurts your shoulders, don't do it. You wanna go lower than that. So I was thinking belly button, but uh, as you can see here, it's not really belly button. Um, but I am bringing the bar way lower, way lower. So like upper, like upper abs part instead of uh, nipples, way better. So yeah, I love this exercise so much. Again, sets and reps will be in the description. Let me see what we do here. I look bright as hell. But yeah, as you can see, you can see this from this angle a little bit better that you go lower. And uh, again, full range of motion. You wanna try to lock out at the top. Make sure you squeeze your uh, triceps so you get the full potential. And I need a 10, holy Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Outfit, by the way, is from Alpha Elite. So if you're trying to purchase Alpha Elite, use code face Jasper. If you wanna support me directly, but now on to the fun stuff. Nah, anything that you do with biceps and curl looks just fucking good. So I don't know. Uh, barbell curls, easy bar today. You can go straight bar, you can go easy bar. I don't really mind to switch it up. It doesn't really matter. Like, it's just like whatever you do with a barbell curl, you'll make some gains on. So easy bar curls, but we're doing a narrow grip, which works the peak really well, but nothing much to say about that. You wanna keep your elbows tight and um, to your body, that's all. Same for the second tricep exercise will be a straight bar extension on the cable. Again, use your elbow as a rotating point. So you can see here, my elbows stay quite still. And yep, don't go higher than this, than this one. You don't wanna go higher than that, it doesn't really matter. You get a full stretch there and then full contraction at the bottom. You wanna make sure you really squeeze your triceps here. If you don't, if you're not able to do that, you can lean a little bit more forward, not all the way, but like a little slight lean uh, so you get a little bit more range of motion in that. So yeah, great exercise. Keep your, yeah, keep your wrist, try to keep them as steady as possible. It's, it, sometimes it might be a little bit hard, but yeah, try to do that. Again, then the second bicep exercise will be a finisher. Um, I did, um, yeah, just some alternating dumbbell curls. Uh, or not alternating, I do it at the same time, but you go to alternating dumbbell curls, which means one at a time if you're struggling to do the exercise. But you can see here, my elbows stay close to my body, stay in one position, and you wanna make all the rotation with the bicep. Now at the top, you wanna rotate your pinkies outwards. That will work the peak that you cannot see because I'm so bright right now. But as you can see here, right? If you rotate, you can see the peak change. So if you rotate, you'll get more of a contraction in the biceps, which is really great. So this is the last exercise. If you want the full, again, the full workout will be in the description. So yeah, quick flex on them haters. If you're interested in awesome online coaching or anything, you can go to my website and I can help you if you really want to. I can help you set up a routine for yourself. But yeah, this was face case, shoulder and arms workout. It's quite quick. You can do this in an hour easily. But again, safety first. It's always the most important. All right, phase up and uh, yeah, let's go to the outro, shall we? We are done in the gym. The workout was really good. 
get a good pump. It's a really nice beach workout to get your broad shoulders and bigger arms for the beach. Obviously, it's not all that I made for Kay. We're gonna go over his other days as well, doing more chest, doing more back, and also doing legs. But we'll do that in another video. If you want to see those videos, like the video, subscribe to the channel, push the notifications on, and comment down below that you wanna see the next videos for Kay's workout. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, Jasper. Out. Deuces.